This TV is over 40 years old. It has 12 channel presets, no remote control, and no external audio or video inputs, just an antenna socket for its analog TV tuner. Someone gave it to me after it stopped receiving any signal because everything has now gone fully digital. But the TV still worked perfectly and I didn't want to throw it away. So I give it a second life by replacing its analog tuner with an IPTV system while keeping the original buttons and the look of the 80s. So each of the 12 buttons is assigned to a different TV channel. Pressing a button switches the channel, just like the TV originally did. Since the player needs to stop the current stream, buffer and start decoding the new one, there is a delay of about 2 to 3 seconds between pressing the button and seeing the new channel on screen. I didn't want a black screen during that gap, so I decided to play a short loop of TV static to give the impression that the TV was tuning into something. So here's a look inside our television set. This is the IPTV uh, decoder and this is just a Raspberry Pi 3. So it is basically a low-cost, low-power Linux computer and in this case uh, it is connecting to a Wi-Fi network. Uh, it gets uh, an IPTV stream, then uh, it decodes it and then it converts it into uh, an analog audio and an analog uh, video signal. The analog video composite signal goes through this coaxial cable directly to the main board of the TV and it is injected here right before the PAL and chroma uh, decoding chip and after all this section which is no longer used and this section was the original uh, RF uh, aerial tuner, analog tuner of the television set. The audio comes out from the Raspberry Pi via this USB audio card and then it goes uh, to the audio amplifier which is inside this metal box and then from the audio amplifier it goes to the speaker. Uh, this is the back of the button button board so where all the buttons on, on the front panel are. So for every button there is one uh, one cable that goes to one GPI input on the Raspberry Pi via one uh, pull-down uh, resistor. And uh, both uh, the Raspberry Pi and the uh, audio amplifier, they are getting their power via this power supply, which is connected after the main switch of the, uh, of the television. So everything uh, is turned on and off uh, at the same time. And that's it for now. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.